Hello everybody. Luca Fineste wrote in the comments that he wanted to follow my hydrant tutorial but instead of having straight outlets or 90 degree outlets he wanted to make them at an angle and he said that it was not possible to do that with my method. I must agree you need some more steps to do it. There are several ways how to uh, get to the result and here is one way. I just took the finished model from the previous tutorial and angled the main outlet by uh, 15 degrees and the side outlets by 30 degrees. That's one way of doing it but there are other ways and I would like to show that to you now. Okay, I go to a new mesh where I already have prepared a cylinder with the same dimensions as my original tutorial. I select this, Control copy Control v E key, rotate it or Control rotate it by minus 90 degrees, Control copy Control v E key again and around the Y axis 90 degrees again. Here is my front view and I want to uh, resize this side outlets again to 66%, two thirds, move it up a bit, W and height for the time being. Then I can select this polygon, go to perspective view and this one, bevel them, bevel them in by I believe it was 50 millimeters on my first tutorial, drop the tool and bridge. Now we can rotate this E key, control rotate by 15 degrees and then I select the top edge here and go to work plane align to selection then go back to polygon mode W key and move this out of the way. Now I select these polygons L key delete select the rest and flip them with the F key I can delete these here and then control X N for a new mesh control V W and I don't need snapping for the time being. Then I go to uh, basic mesh constraints background and move this to here. Okay, now let's see. I go to top view and to the original mesh but work plane reset and then we can first delete top and bottom polygons here and then I can delete uh, maybe I make this one visible as well this half of the model delete. Okay, now I go to snapping, snap to vertex, yes, then shift C, cut uh, but snapping enabled, cut through here, then shift click, cut through here, 
and shift click mm, no drop the tool shift c again and cut through here now let's see how many vertices we have here three so let's merge them then i can delete these polygons delete go to this mesh here control x bring it back to here control v then we can go to vertex merge i make it fixed 13 yes with uh, snapping still enabled alt c uh, sorry shift c uh, shift click cut through here then we can select these polygons one two three four five it's it's in principle it's exactly the same as we did on the first tutorial i do not want to explain everything again <clears throat> and go to vertex align uniform and do the same here one two three align uniform and now we can get rid of these triangles here so shift c again cut through here shift click cut through here shift click shift click and now we can get rid of the triangles backspace delete and this part is done okay now i unhide my other and rotate this by 30 degrees so e control rotate by minus 30 and from this view i check where we put it about to here then work plane again so um, select this edge align work plane to selection go to polygon w key and move it along the work plane to about here now bevel these on the red handle without snapping I think it was 10 or 15 millimeters so let's do it 15 drop the tool and bridge now same procedure as before L key delete select this and flip and delete these here and control x control v w move it closer to here then control x bring it to the empty mesh control v enable background constraint and w move it to here okay now we can remove this control x go to original mesh control v and then reset the work plane and in the right view i shift c cut through here and then I can remove these polygons, delete, and we can remove every second edge in here to up arrow key backspace delete. You see, it's just not a circle, it's an oval which represents the angle, and this is why we have to keep 
the original tube here or cylinder because it is not possible to just extract these edges anymore as we did in the previous model. We must bridge between here and here to get a perfectly round shape. So edge mode, then I select these four edges, two, three, four, alt bridge and I hide this one quickly then select these four edges and up arrow key and bridge. Now we can shift C again with snapping enabled then we can cut through here shift click shift click shift click shift click shift click and we have a perfect alignment. Now select this, deselect these two edges and bridge. Do the same here, deselect and bridge. And now we can unhide our cylinder, select these edges, no, no, no. I must get rid of every second edge first. So backspace delete. Now we can bridge these and these ones together. And it's perfect. And we don't need this here. That was just a guide. Then we can uh, duplicate mirror over X apply and everything has merged yes and we can now bridge the main outlet which has a 15 degree angle bridge this remove this part L delete and here is our starting shape now we have again two possibilities one possibility would be to work with the work plane from now on or with action center selection which is quite tedious really and um, puzzling sometimes but there are easier ways and I will show you this one so L key select this one L control X control V now snapping is still enabled. I go and use the rotate tool, but we only need hang on, this uh, polygons, E key again, and snap to the top vertex here and control rotate it by 15 degrees. Go to this view, select this, Control X, Control V. I think I already did this anyway. Then the rotate tool again. Click to this and rotate by 30 degrees. Now we can just work as we did on the initial tutorial. You can use all normal commands. You work always in right angles, so shift C, cut through here. And from now on you can follow the initial tutorial. And when you are done, you just select this again, E key, select this vertex and rotate it back. and merge all the vertices okay one too many and now we can put in we can bevel this edge for example and you see we have a perfect fit it's easy to model as it was on the previous one and when it is finished it can be brought to the right angle. So that's it for today. I hope it helped one or the other. 
Thanks for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.